the other night I was just like petting Gatsby and I felt like some kind of bump on his back and then I was like, wait, what is this? And then, look. Oh no. What happened? So then I like put my hand in and, and all of a sudden all of his fur started coming off. I was kind of like, oh my gosh, what's going on Gatsby? You can't be dying on me. I saw something white coming out. I was like, I don't even know what this is. I had two really bad dreams that night about his back. I got like really worried, Gatsby. Anyway, I took him the next morning to the vet to see what's going on. Yeah, it looks like just a sebaceous cyst gets a little bit of, of stuff in it and then it just makes kind of like a zit almost. Oh, okay. Um, and it looks like it's already kind of starting to release the stuff, so we'll just clean it the rest of the way out. Uh, when your hair follicle or pores clog, it creates a bump underneath the skin, kind of like a pimple, and that can grow and grow and grow, and it probably ruptured when I was like petting him. Which was really weird because I pet him all the time, and I usually would find something like that, and I didn't see it until then. Um, oh, thank you, Gatsby. Oh, Gatsby. Now he has like a hole on his back with his fur is kind of just like gone in a certain area. It'll grow back, but fur grows back a lot slower than a uh, hair does. So it'll take a while. You might see a little bald spot on his back. And I just have to disinfect the area twice a day. Well, now we just gotta look at the giant <laughs> hole in his fur. The good thing is that nothing was that serious. I have no idea how I didn't notice this before. It looks like it was like a really, really big cyst on his back. I don't know, how did I not notice that, Gatsby? I pet you so much. Other than that though, that's what we've been up to, and I think it's time for us to start the vlog. Gatsby, you know who's coming over today? Hey. You see his bald, his bald spot? Watch out on his back. It's all right there. There's Sean. Hey. If you guys watched the last video, we got him a present, which I'm pretty sure you have to act surprised now. Surprise! <laughs> oh my god! I, I would have never expected Whoa. this. Whoa. I totally didn't see you go to Costco and buy this. Oh my god. Thank you. You're welcome. So much of it. Ooh. Yeah, I got the one dollar ones from Target all the time. Yeah, because it was enough. But I don't know how many of those are in here. John's <laughs> favorite candy is these Cadbury mini eggs. They're so good. <laughs> They're so good, and they only come around this time of the year for oh, really? for Easter. Oh. <laughs> oh, check it out! Look, Gatsby's plush came. His his shipment of plushes. Ooh. Look at. <laughs> They're gonna be available really soon, but yeah, I just opened it. You need we to, to like re you need to it. put a hole right here. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna be available at corgionfleet.com, you guys. Wow, look at that tag. Details on the back, oh, too. Oh yes, I designed the tag myself. Wow. <laughs> hey Gatsby, the plushes have arrived! The plushes have arrived! The stickers! Wow! This one's the best one. That one looks super cool. I just like the purple. Oh, the purple yeah. looks really good. That one. This one. And then we have this one that's finally a sticker. They do look so good. <laughs> They're clear vinyl stickers so that the edges become clear. Oh, that's uh, cool. We are gonna be doing charades. We haven't done it in so long. We're gonna do animal charades. And you guys can play along. Three, two, one, go! A mole, a uh, no, a crocodile, a ram, moose, goat. Oh, that is your goat impression. It's a kangaroo. A bear. A, 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 an eagle, a hawk, 
Um, I don't know anything other than an eagle. I got a falcon. Yes. What? <laughs> A seahorse? Oh my god! <laughs> a raccoon! Oh my god! <laughs> a camel? A pony? A small, a short? Um, a badger? Um, I don't know. It's a weasel. Oh, I would have never guessed that. <laughs> Go. Bird? Bird. Uh, Hummingbird? Woodpecker? Pigeon? Yeah! <laughs> oh, um... Anteater? Yeah! <laughs> Snail? Yeah! <laughs> Panda? Yeah! <laughs> Duck? Penguin? <laughs> what is that? It walks like a penguin. What? <laughs> Whoa, what is that? Okay, I was trying to do duck, duck, Oh, goose! goose. <laughs> <laughs> Let us know who did a better job at acting out the animals. <laughs> Were you able to get any of these? Let us know in the comments. We're gonna go and see if Nick is working. We haven't seen Nick in a while, right? You guys keep asking to see him. He's so busy. So, we're gonna see if he's there. How do you pronounce the store, Sean? I was walking at first, I thought it was fatherly, but it's... Fatherity? Oh, I thought it was farty. <laughs> Sean, are we gonna make the light? We have 19 seconds. You better go. Go. Go, Sean, go. Go. 12 seconds. 10 seconds, you guys. We gotta make it. 7 seconds. 5. Four, three, two, it. one. <gasps> we made it. We did it though. We, we survived. Oh, we okay. Survived. Okay, we're gonna go inside and see if Nick is working. <laughs> There's somebody here. What's up, man? Hey, it's Nick. It's Nick. Long time no yeah, see. I know, man. The last time I saw Nick was like. Three years ago, I feel. What? Yeah, we haven't seen Nick in forever. Look at him go. He's like. <laughs> Nick, you look really good. You look like you lost lots of weight. I did. Yeah, I noticed. You like wasabi, Sean? Yeah. Oh, I don't. Not bad. Yeah. <laughs> Grilled lemon. How fancy. There, Sean. Look at him go, you guys. He's like... Oh. Look at that drink. <laughs> We're dying. Giving Nick a good tip. Yep. He said bye to Nick. He's very, very busy right now. 11 seconds. 10, 9, 8. Oh, Those people are not gonna make it. Oh, really? <laughs> ah, there's a Poplio. I have one that has one star. <laughs> wow, Sean plays a lot. Bye, Sean. <laughs> you guys, a new baby leaf. <gasps> it's unraveling. It might unravel today. <laughs> no, he's getting. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Go! Guess we get so excited when this is, yeah? <laughs> like, I only want this ball. How about... You want... No, how about this? How about this? This one. Gatsby, play with this one. Yes, ready? Go! He's like, I want to play... He's like, can you help me get the ball out? 
It fell behind the sofa. Is this what you're looking for? Right now, I am going to drive over to pick up the new merchandise that is done. We have these new t-shirts over here that look super good. I'll show you guys like a little bit more of that soon. Ah, Gatsby's getting his treats out of his toy right now. Other than these t-shirts, we have a new t-shirt design that is gonna be super, super limited edition. I've been working on this design with the artist since September of last year. This is the same artist from Australia that did the Corgisaurus Rex t-shirt. I get my t-shirts printed locally from a small business. I work directly with the owner and we always get the t-shirts to look super, super good because I think we work really well together. Ooh. <laughs> they turn out really cool with that cream color. Yeah. Oh, it looks good. Okay. Oh, nice. And that's the adult one. Okay, cool. Okay. We got it. Okay, we made it home. Let's check out these shirts in greater detail. This design is inspired by the Chinese Zodiac. It's like a Year of the Tiger kind of shirt, but Year of the Corgi. It says over here in Chinese this time, it says Corgi Dog. I check with all of my Chinese friends to make sure that this is correct. What do you think, Gatsby? You see? As you can see, we're doing a very, very limited run of these shirts. I was originally going to do one color, but I decided to do two. The maroon shirt, the corgi, he looks so happy. And here's the heavy metal color. Camera's not really picking it up, but it is like a cream color ink, which I think looks really nice. Here it is, we have the maroon color. Woo! And here it is in heavy metal. It is the mythical corgi. I think it looks great. Yeah! As I mentioned before, these are limited edition, very, very limited quantities. And in addition to those shirts, as I mentioned, we have a special edition Japanese Corgi t-shirt. In Japanese, it says Corgi. And this is a special edition one that I have printed on the Comfort Color shirt. Comfort Colors is a really popular t-shirt that's really hard to get. As you can see over here, these Comfort Color shirts is a lot thicker material with like a vintage look, super soft and really nice. I decided to do a reprint of the Japanese Corgi t-shirts on these, berry, seafoam green, blue, and this is a special ocean tie-dye. And as you saw earlier, we have new stickers for our merch launch. Gatsby, your children have arrived. They're back in stock. What do you think? Back, looks good. Corgi on fleek tag. The original shipment has arrived. And so make sure at the end of the vlog to head to corgionfleek.com to grab all the new merchandise. My heart can barely take all this excitement. Okay, it's time for me to head off to the gym. Bye, Gatsby. I'm here with my buddy Dan today. We're gonna hit some back. Back day. Yeah. Welcome to back day part two. Today I thought I would share with you guys more tips on hitting the back muscle. Did you know that you can hit different parts of your back simply by changing your grip? Notice when using a wide grip, I work and activate the outer part of my back, the lats. Hitting the outer part will add size and width to the outer sides of your back and kind of give you that superhero V shape. When I change my grip to a narrow grip, like over here, I hit the inner part of the back. Hitting this part of the back can help with avoiding injury as well as posture, pulling your shoulder blades back. It's important to hit both of them in order to keep things in balance. Another important thing about hitting back is to make sure to keep your core very tight. That means squeezing your stomach muscles. Especially with something like what we're doing here, you can easily injure your back if you're not keeping your core tight. And that's your gym tip for the week! Okay. Ooh, we got a good workout in today. I really enjoy hitting it with other people because it forces me to do exercises that I probably wouldn't do usually. Okay, it is dinner time for the corgi. Just food for dogs. Gatsby's like, I'm a dog. Just grab his bowl. Some people were asking me how he loses his weight. Well, you weigh his food. He's like, oh, I like. So chicken thigh, rice, spinach, carrots, apples, chicken gizzard, chicken liver. It's all cooked. We do 5.6 ounces for dinner. We add all of Gatsby's other supplements. I have rose hip, vital. This stuff is for his hips. It smells really good. A scoop of that. His probiotics, Fortiflora. This is that stuff that helps him 
with his allergies. This is called The One from Front of the Pack. I'm not getting sponsored by any of these guys, just FYI. <laughs> Gatsby's like, oh, oh my gosh. Here you go. Enjoy, Gatsby. How's your back doing? Well, it looks pretty good. I'm gonna be grabbing some food with my friends from high school. Last time, like a few weeks ago, we tried to go to this Antoine's Cookies and we got there like an hour early, but they were all sold out of cookies. We're gonna grab cookies before dinner this time. It's open? Oh my gosh. What are we gonna get? Cookies and cream, chocolate chip. I want to try honeycomb. Ooh, honeycomb. Ooh, I want that too. Ooh, I want this one. Yeah, see? This is what's going on. We just want them all. Don't <gasps> oh. Should we just have it now? <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of like, okay. I'm not going to say now. You guys want to? Cookies for before dinner. <laughs> I don't know. You're gonna end up eating the entire it's thing. Dangerous, yeah. I think we're gonna keep going. Are we gonna keep going? One Let's more. get one more. You think one more? Okay. Well, you get to. Okay, you get to choose one. Go ahead. Johnny's favorite cookie: oatmeal raisin. Okay, we're walking around Palo Alto now. Uh, we're getting Cuban food. Ta-da! Oh, we got shrimp ceviche. The lemon juice is so acidic that it cooks the raw food. Our paella, which is not really Cuban. I don't think we're complaining. It looks good. Yeah, it does. It's good. It's very hearty. Is it good? Chicharrones el pollo, which is a um, fried chicken sandwich. And we got ribs. Look at that. That looks really good. Wow, that just came off the bone. <laughs> that just falls right off the bone. Bodeguita del medio. Ta-da! We're done! Now we get to get back to eating cookies. <laughs> Are you feeling better, Gatsby? I'm so happy. <laughs> My Chipotle napkins? As Not sponsored. That's good. I haven't had white chocolate macadamia nut cookies in forever. Didn't we have that in high school? Yeah, we did. As you guys may know, the Oscars just happened. In all the previous years, I would always talk about all the movies nominated for Best Picture. I'm just such a big fan of film, and I tend to watch pretty much every single movie that comes out during the year. Out of the 10 movies that are nominated for Best Picture, I saw eight of them. I just have not seen Belfast and Licorice Pizza, and I thought, I would rank them for you based off of my personal opinion. Coming in at number 8, my least favorite Best Picture nominee was Drive My Car. For sure, I don't think it was bad, but at the same time, it was not my favorite one. Coming in at number 7 was The Power of the Dog. Number 6, Nightmare Alley. Number 5, Coda. Number four, King Richard. Number three, Don't Look Up. I personally really like the movie. Number two is Dune. My, this is also my second favorite movie of last year. That means my number one movie, which is also my favorite movie of last year, is West Side Story. And I was at the movie theater going, oh my gosh, this is incredible. Man, Steven Spielberg, what a star. <laughs> Have you guys seen a lot of the movies that were nominated for Best Picture? Let me know in the comments. Anyway, I thought I would share with you guys this week's secret word to put in your comment to let me know that you got to the end of the vlog. This week's secret word is the word worry. Gatsby, you had me so worried. I'm so glad you feel a little bit better though. Anyway, it's time for us to head to bed. Make sure to check out our entire spring merchandise launch at corgionfleet.com. We have a deal going on right now. Oh, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Good night. Hey Gatsby, check out this awesome fan. Three, two, one. Ah! <laughs> Ew! This.